Okay, so we are going to make A2 size again. So this is a 5.25 by 8.5. And then this is a 4 inches by 5.25. So that's what it looks like. And then we are going to use a few of the embossing folder. This is a tin holes brick and embossing folder. I also find some other embossing folder. So this is kind of like a wood grain. Um, you choose the one you like. So since so I am using this one, the brick one, so I am going to use this, uh, um, the wood grain to see what it looks like. And on the older embossing folder, there is uh, some print, uh, print image. The print image when you put your paper, uh, if you put the, this the print image on face up, that's you get embossing. If you do the like a the other side, that's the boss. So depending which one you you like, they are different. If you use the paper like a car style, both sides the same color. It doesn't matter if you want the embossing, you can just flip over. But if you use just like a mirror car style, if there is only one side, it doesn't make a difference. So make sure you put the right side up. So you just put the, your car style here and run to the embossing. Oh, actually, sorry, we actually have to cut first. Actually, we have to cut first before we do the embossing. If you do the embossing first, and then I'm um, going to die cut, the, all the embossing will be disappear. So make sure you cut it first and do the embossing. Okay, so take a look. This is embossing. This is debossing. Okay, and then we are going to, I already stamped this image with a VersaFine. You can stamp image and then you can die cut it. But I found out actually without uh, any outline, just with embossing, they are actually pretty cool too. So I'm going to just use that one. I just use my magic mushroom, give a little touch around it. And then I am going to just put it back like a piece of puzzle like that. Okay, but before we do that, I want to give a little bit take um color on top. So we are going to use a, a little bit purple with magic mushroom and they kind of just gently um circle around just a few sections. Okay, you don't have to put like a color everywhere, just give a little bit touch out. Okay. I think the purple will work just fine. When you add the purple with this rusty color, they actually become kind of like a dark brown. And just kind of give a little bit touch out around the border. That's it. And then we are going to use uh, the, the window one without the outline. And then because it's white car stock, so I'm going to just make sure I clean my hands. I don't want to get any dirty fingers. Okay, so now I insert that die cut, okay, back, and I'm going to turn back, okay, and then we're going to use uh, just invisible tape, kind of just uh, tape that piece uh, window, okay, just like this, all four sides. That's what it looks like, and the window actually they can swing open, kind of cool. So this is without the black image. I just use my die cut and that looks pretty, right? And I'm going to just add a little bit more around my uh, frame. Okay, so one more thing before I move on to the next step. See, um, inside the window is kind of white color, right? I want to put my little kitty cat or my little doggy there. That white color is not going to show well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just use my uh, blue magic mushroom. And this mushroom I didn't clean last time after I used it. So I kind of just rub a little bit color here. And then now I can put my front car there and then I think that way my little doggy is going to show well. So these stems that actually come with two kitty cat and the one little doggy and then after I taped it I am going to just uh, put my little doggy over there. Okay so that's it. That's my little doggy. He's sleeping right now. So little doggy and the little kitty cat. So three car project 
They are all done by our home sweet home stamp set. I hope you like it and make sure you stay at home. Don't go out if you don't have to. And I'm working very hard trying to have a tutorial come out every day. Enjoy your tutorial, leave us a comment and we would love to hear from you. This is a low cooking from, this is sorry, this is Lisa from Low Cooking Rubber Stand. Thank you all for watching. See you next time.